This is Sophie. Sophie has type 1 diabetes. Recently, Sophie chose the Minimed 670G system by Medtronic to help her manage her diabetes. For the last seven days, Sophie has been using manual mode. However, today, with the guidance of her diabetes nurse Kelly, Sophie will use auto mode for the first time. Kelly will help Sophie understand the SmartGuard technology by Medtronic by showing her how to enter auto mode and the basics of how to use it. Kelly shows Sophie that auto mode can keep her glucose levels within the target range by matching Sophie's insulin needs as her glucose levels rise and fall. By using auto mode, Sophie will have fewer lows and will spend more time in her required range as there will be less glucose variability. Sophie learns that this is because auto mode provides automatic basal adjustments, known as auto basal, every five minutes. These adjustments are based on Sophie's glucose values and trends, with a target value of 120 mg per deciliter. This has been chosen to support the goal of the lowest risk of hypos, whilst keeping most time in range. Before turning auto mode on, Sophie has to feel confident completing the following actions. Change the pump's reservoir and infusion set. Use the Bolus Wizard calculator. Insert and tape the Guardian Sensor 3. Calibrate the sensor. Upload the pump's data using CareLink personal software. Treat her blood glucose if it is too low or too high. Kelly recommends that Sophie only uses auto mode after seven days of using manual mode. Together, Sophie and Kelly enter Sophie's carb ratio and active insulin time in the pump's delivery settings under the bolus estimate setup. If Sophie had been using the bolus wizard calculator, these settings would already be available. Kelly also checks that Sophie is wearing her sensor and that it is working. Sophie also learns that she can turn on auto mode by following the instructions on the pump screen. Sophie can use Auto Mode's Readiness Status screen for further guidance. Kelly informs Sophie that she has to remember that Auto Mode will not activate if a temporary basal rate is active, during a bolus delivery, whilst insulin delivery has been suspended. To turn on Auto Mode, Sophie must press the menu button. From there, she must now select Options, followed by Smart Guard. From here, Sophie must switch the auto mode setting to on and finally select save to confirm her pump's mode update. Now, Sophie's pump will notify her when it's time to enter a blood glucose value to enter auto mode. When Sophie has enabled auto mode, there will be a big blue shield icon with a glucose value in the middle displayed on the pump screen. Sophie remembers what Kelly told her about the importance of calibrating the pump. For the sensor to provide the pump with the best information, Sophie should calibrate her pump three to four times a day. Sophie also remembers it's important for her not to calibrate the pump if her glucose levels are fluctuating. It is important that on the day of the sensor's startup, Sophie should calibrate between 40 minutes to two hours after the sensor's insertion, within the first six hours at a time when she does not have more than one trend arrow, for the rest of the day, Sophie should calibrate before her meals and before going to bed. Sometimes the pump will ask for an additional calibration to be on the safe side. To calibrate the sensor, Sophie has to test her blood glucose by using the contour next link meter to wirelessly send her glucose level reading to the pump or using any meter and manually inputting the data. Sophie knows that for consistent results, it's best to use the same meter. Sophie now knows all there is to know about her pump's auto mode and is ready to start her journey with her Minimed 670G system with SmartGuard technology.